Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have mini shopping vlog and a small unboxing because it's nothing super big but definitely some things that are worth showing you so let's get into this video If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lu and I am 24 years old and I love doing videos about handbags, shopping, luxury items, shoes, traveling, so if you like any of those topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And we also have a Discord chat in case you want to join. The link is in the description box down below and it's basically for you to chat about handbags, shoes, whatever are your next purchases or show off whatever you got. I know that sometimes you don't really have the space to talk about this stuff with family and friends. So so we made this chat for you to just vent and ask questions and whatever you want to do so the link of the discord chat is on the description box down below so mid-october I went to Washington DC and we went for multiple reasons number one was because I wanted to take a lot of content as someone who is trying to put myself on the place to be able to do social media full-time I been trying to be very responsible quarantine wise so I really don't go out much so I just take pictures inside my house all the time and I've been doing that for almost two years so it's I think it's pretty obvious that it's getting hard to create and be able to feel on a positive mindset taking pictures and filming videos always in the same small bedroom so we decided let's just make a trip we made so many things together because it was my boyfriend's birthday and it was our anniversary and then I had a collaboration with Le Prix and I took so many bags and so and took so many pictures but I also went to do a little bit of shopping so right now I'm gonna insert some clips it, they're not many because you can call me stupid if you want but I <laughs> I filmed so many videos on the setting of slow motion on the iPhone so when I realized so many videos that I took are really good at the beginning and then they just get super slow and it's very annoying so I don't know if I'm gonna include those so I'm just gonna put whatever we saw and some videos with music and after that I'm gonna show you what I got and give you a little bit of a review of what we did on DC and how we liked it Drunk, I've never seen you clearer than now We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, 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 now Trip, trip, trip Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights Oh, I wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing with the wheels Don't stop turning I know we're acting stupid
official I thought I handled this so well I know we had the right intentions But somehow it came to an end I was looking for a remedy I'm gonna start with the Chanel unboxing. So before I left, I did again a little bit of a clean out and I sold shoes, even designer shoes, that I was just not reaching for. Um, some of them are my Gucci Princeton loafers. I was able to sell them. I sold my Gucci belt. I sold one of my Hermes belts and I wanted to buy actually a pair of boots. I wanted to find a knee high pair of boots that were actually my size because since I'm 5'1", I'm really short, knee high boots are really hard because they always go above the knee so you cannot even bend or walk properly so it's really hard to find them let me put this back because I'm feeling like I'm gonna take it down and it's gonna be like not great it was a task and needless to say that it was not successful I did not find a pair of boots that were suitable for me to the knee so um, Emily told me you see Emily in the video. Shout out to Emily and Lepre. Um, they found me a bag. It's Hermes and I'm gonna show it to you on my birthday because it's actually something that I got for my birthday so I don't even want to open it. Like it's gonna be stored in the box. I have it right there and I don't want to open it because it's for my birthday. I like to do that thing like if I get something for a specific date I'm not gonna open it until that date because that's the excitement of it. Like I leave things on the box for a while. So <laughs> they found me a bag. I'm gonna leave uh, Lepre social media on the description box and Below. So Emily told me that she wanted to go and pick up something from Chanel and we went to the store and they treated us so well It's been a while since I went to a Chanel boutique actually like a long while and they treated us so good And I was like, let me shoot my shot on shoes as if you follow my channel for a while You would know that I never find shoes my size like not even Nikes or Adidas like nothing at all I do not find them. I am size 35 or 5 sometimes I'm even 34 so finding shoes is really hard so every time that I find ones, I'm like, and I have the savings ready, didn't find the, the boots, and it was like reinvestment. It's money that was taking out of things that I already had. So if you see this unboxing, please don't feel like I'm just like spending money like crazy. I sold stuff specifically to get a pair of shoes. I didn't intend this ones originally, but I think that it worked out for the best. So let me show them to you. And I'm a little bit scared of using them, so just let me know. I tried on so many shoes at the boutique. I tried boots, I tried everything, and not a single pair of shoes in my size the only shoes that they had in my size in the entire store were this and I actually love them so I'm really happy about that their size let me check 35 have not used them at all this is my first time like really opening them and I don't know when I'm gonna use them because I'm scared of them I usually I'm not the type of person that is scared of wearing things that I get but I'm scared this time so they come with a dust bag and here they are you're gonna see them super tiny. People always make fun of me because of the size of my shoes. But these are the sneakers. They do look tiny. So they are basically softy suede. These are the shoes and they are 35. They fit me perfectly. I'm pretty sure of that. I tried them on for like 15 minutes at the store. The essay was super nice. So if you ever go to Washington DC, the there's this nice area where they have all the stores. We went to Hermes too. Everything was empty. Like the store was completely empty. They had this and I was like taking them. Like if you have them, I'll just take them. They have extra pair of shoelaces and something that we're gonna do on this video is that we're gonna spray them I have some like a couple of things to show you that I also got on the trip and I'm gonna show them to you but um, let's first spray these babies so I got this off Amazon and let me open it up I got this initially because I wanted to spray my 19 bag in tweed but I'm still a little bit scared to do that so I think that this is the first best way to do it how do you even clean
clean this I have no idea so we're gonna do this so this is the Cadillac select premium water and stain protector let me read the instructions it says apply on clean and conditioned leather it says leather but everyone told me that this was for also suede let's just do it like what can be the word if you can put this on leather why you cannot put it on shoes and if it works i got a pair of jimmy Choo boots that i still don't have here but then i'm gonna definitely spray them because they're suede so let's just do it Let's go for the other one. If this goes completely south after they dry, I'm gonna be devastated because I have not even used them. So it's done. If it works really well, then I'm gonna start considering doing it to some of my bags. For now, I don't want to do it. Now, another thing that we did on that trip, Emily took me to this vintage store called Chic to Chic Boutique. And it, well, it has to be fade. Like, I mean, I cannot even make it up. I was talking about wanting a Burberry coat for a while now. And all of you guys told me go find in vintage boutiques, maybe outlets or something. And I actually did consider doing so. So Emily took me to the store. I'm gonna show you some clips of us there. There. and then I spot a small Burberry coat that is way older than 20 years old like it's super super old but it was so cool because it has a lot of add-ons so if you compare it to the new prices that you can see like on Farfetch or Burberry or whatever like the price was a steal so this is my new coat and these are the add-ons let me take them off the inside has the Burberry thing and the color is perfect, exactly what I wanted. It's like this oversized kind of military look in some way and it has a lot of details like here. You can actually like cinch it. You also have the belt here and you can put this on the inside to actually make it hot, like warmer for you. So this is gonna be really good because I'm gonna be on Paris during December and January and it gets super cold and I don't wanna, like I don't really like stacking up so many things because since I'm so small I end up looking like I don't know I just look weird it has this add-ons with zippers that you can put on the inside of the coat you can see uh, it also says Burberry and yeah you just zip it on the inside and it also has like this neck thing and Washington it was like hot and cold at the same time like it was both hot and cold like on the morning you were freezing and then if you were under the sun you were sweating so you had to take everything off but if you were under the shade you were freezing again so it was really good for that I really use this coat a lot during that trip I'm gonna show you some pictures with it so you can see a little bit how it looks like on my frame it's definitely a little bit big on me but I like that I like big oversized clothing and the condition is amazing like I cannot believe that this thing is over 20 years old it's so good it's really really good and I'm so happy that I found it because I don't feel bad for spending on a designer coat because it was actually something that has been very used by someone else so I don't feel like I'm I don't know there's something about buying pre-loved and vintage that gives me a lot of joy when I move um, to the new apartment we're gonna have to get rid of pretty much all of our furniture here so we're gonna have to sell everything and start over and of course there's a few things that you want to buy new but I kind of want to convince my boyfriend that we should definitely thrift for some things like chairs tables and stuff like that like I really love thrifting it's a shame that I don't have here anywhere to thrift but moving overseas and in, in Spain I'm pretty sure that we're gonna find somewhere to like find that type of stuff so I'm really excited about that and the last two things that I want to show you are we're not purchased on the trip but I think that they're worth mentioning because it's the first time that I have something like this so if you guys follow Vertilogs you're gonna see that they often post these things they are shawls and I got this one from Louis Vuitton it's been a while since I got something from Louis Vuitton oh except this bag I'm gonna show you this bag that lip clay had and I was like this close to buy it I swear to god that I was so close to buy this bag but I didn't because I got the I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek of the birthday bag like I'm not only the box like okay so I already made some damage I was like I'm not gonna that's it like that's it you're good grounded <laughs> I was not gonna spend more but um, yeah I love this bag if anyone is interested it's still available on their site so please someone else buy it before I do but this one I saw Georgia with it and um, I'm like I don't know like this New York in Paris like this is gonna be so cute um, and warm I honestly don't even have like scarves or shawls or anything for the winter so I think that this is really pretty and I love the color like I love the shade look at the monogram I don't know I just love them a lot and the other one that I got is this one from Chanel 
I got this one only because of one single picture and Georgia posted this picture of her having this um, on a ponytail like she just uh, you know you, you see the picture you know what I mean so I kind of want to do that too <laughs> I know like let's talk about being influenced so I was influenced by her badly because she made me want it so bad so yeah I hope that you can see a couple of pictures with this one the beautiful coat from chic to chic boutique so if you're in Maryland I made this mistake that I said that the store was in Washington DC and it's actually in Maryland and everyone is like no that's not DC so I'm sorry I didn't know never been there before so yeah, it's actually in Maryland they have Chanel bags they have Louis Vuitton bags so definitely recommend you to go and check that out and again I just want to thank Le Pré so much for everything cannot wait to show you what I got for my birthday um so yeah I hope that you guys have a beautiful week if you are not subscribed to my channel please consider doing so and if you're not done watching my channel I'm gonna leave you two videos right here so please consider checking them out and yeah thank you and see you on the next one bye